Hi, it's Mal, Kudo UK, Wales branch, left Toronto. Spent the last 12 hours traveling to Island Ponds uh, to stay with uh, the family. So I thought I'd bring a video to you about Chris Hansen. I've met Chris online via sort of this COVID, crazy COVID times. We're meant to be doing a seminar together uh, next, next weekend at Brian Bates on practical Christ. Chris's concept of karate unity, quite an interesting concept, you know, and uh, I'm sure the guy gets a lot of negatives about trying to unify lots of different styles of martial arts uh, or actually just martial arts combat sports. If you have a negative mindset, you think it'd never happen. Um, and obviously, if you're a little bit negative uh, about people as well, you don't trust people, you think to yourself, you know, what are the motivations behind this person uh, wanting to meet up with people, do seminars um, and so on. And my thing really is about whether someone's genuine, um, whether they're after promoting themselves or promoting their art. You know, in Chris's case, he's trying to uh, promote a way of thinking and trying to unify lots of different people, um, which I, you know, it's very, very commendable. Um, but I'm quite a pessimist until I can trust someone. You're never 100% sure if a person is like how they are with their online presence. Well, let's say this. Chris is exactly like his online presence. He's a very bubbly character, really, really passionate about martial arts and combat sports. Um, the whole cross-training thing, he definitely, you know, lives by that. Anybody who's been in the game long enough will know just by the way that someone stands or the way the person holds their... Uh, you know, holds themselves in a stance or holds themselves in some sort of posture on the way that they move. They're definitely, uh, Chris is one of those people you can see as a very solid base. And, and he's a good all-rounder for what I can tell. We were together uh, only for a short period of time, obviously, in, in Thomas Conkle's seminar, but it was it was ace. So uh, that's if Chris, you're watching this one, good on you, Chris. So what, I, what I'd like to say really is from being one of those people that's met Chris, um, and trained now alongside Chris. I wanted to be able to say that if you are this side of the pond, if you are in Canada, you know, you are in the States and you want to get in touch with Chris um, and network, all he's trying to do is promote uh, martial arts. All he wants to do is promote people um, and try and get us together, unify us. What, what it says on the tin basically is karate unity, right? Um, one thing I will say is karate on our side of the pond, it only really refers to karate. Um, I've noticed now in the US and in Canada, karate would become a term from pretty much all martial arts. Um, so, you know, I can get on board with that, as in for Kudo, for instance, is um, a place where you're not held back by styles and names. You know, we embrace all forms of art. If it works, it's legit. If it doesn't work, then it may be part of an art that's long, long gone and no longer relevant. Just my thoughts. So get out there, learn from other people, get into the dojos. If you're not covering all of the elements, you need to be doing it more often. It's okay learning a style, you wanna learn a pure form of karate or whatever. What is pure? You know, that's subjective in itself. Get out there, learn as much as you can, train with people and make friends, not just friends, lifelong friends, real relationships. Positivity about training with other people is you get to see some great places. Um, I'm in the States again, so it's really nice to be here. I'm gonna enjoy the last couple of days. Um, I'm looking forward to getting back, maybe a couple of visits around Europe next, uh, maybe Germany, uh, see how it goes. Um, I'm just enjoying time with my family. Uh, thanks very much for following the channel. If you haven't done the whole like and subscribe, please do it. Um, and I'll speak to you soon. Wash.